Welcome back. A federal high court in Kano has ordered the purported suspension of the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullahi Ganduje, by his ward, Be Stopped. The ruling came late on Wednesday after Ganduje filed a motion seeking to enforce his fundamental right to a fair hearing. The respondents in the application are the police, the Department of State Services, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, and nine other individuals. This is not the best time for the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullahi Ganduje. His ordeals are coming from the home front. First, the Kano state government slammed charge of corruption against him. While battling with that, the party at ward level suspended him over alleged bribery allegations. Court orders and counters are flying around about his status as the APC National Chairman. He, however, is pointing accusing fingers at the state government. Joining me live on the news via Zoom is the media AD of the governor, Muhammad Yusuf. Muhammad Yusuf, thanks for joining us on the news. Thank you so much. It's nice being with you. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Let me start by asking you, what are the issues between the Kano state government and Abdullahi Ganduje, the former state governor? Well, actually, during the course of campaign, you know, uh, His Excellency Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf ran election twice against uh, uh, the former Governor Abdullahi Ganduje in 2019. He ran against Ganduje in 2023. He ran against the deputy of uh, Abdullahi Umar Ganduje. And during the processes of the campaign, the governor highlighted in several instances that he has noticed that there are a lot of discrepancies within the apparatchik of government and he has been telling the electorates that once he gets elected into the office he will make sure that he investigates any misnomers that he sees in the process of uh, investigation and that if he finds the former governor wanting in any regard he will be left with no option but to further escalate the investigation so that the Kano people will not be shortchanged in any regard. You know, apart from investigation over the issue of embezzlement or monetary issues, there are other issues too that are involved. There are issues of toggery, there are issues of political violence, and then there are issues of even missing children that have been happening, which the former government neglected. So this and a host of others form part of what the government of His Excellency Abba Kabir Yusuf is investigating. Yeah. But many would say that this is an act of victimization. What do you say to that? Well, I cannot call this an act of uh, victimization. Uh, this is part of the democratic processes that people have to come to terms with reality and accept. World over in all democracies today, uh, people, after they have left office, for one reason or the other, uh, the succeeding government has no option but to investigate. When you look at it, uh, now in Sakota State, the former governor, uh, Amina Tambor, is being investigated. When you go to Kaduna State, the former governor, Nasir Arafai, is being investigated. Even when you go to the United States of America, Donald Trump is being investigated by the government of uh, Biden. So it's a normal democratic practices when people uh, participate in government at the end of their tenure, they should come out clean and account for their actions in office. And if they, uh, for any reason, uh, some things have been discovered that do not go right, it is a clear opportunity for the people to come back and defend themselves so that they can have a clean slate. It has happened several times here in Nigeria where a lot of former governors were investigated and at the end of the day some of them have been sentenced to jail and a lot of them have been sent scot free so there is no victimization it's just a democratic processes which we must come to terms and accept it. The FCC has details of investigation into his alleged bribery. Why is the state bent on prosecuting him for the same alleged offense? Well, the state, uh, let me tell you one thing. The state has an independent anti-corruption agency. 
that was established a long time ago, not by Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf, not even by Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. It was established when Governor Shekaro was in office. This anti-corruption agency has been independent. It has done quite a lot of investigation in the past, even between citizen to in citizen to citizens in the state, between foreigners and the indigents of Kano State. Between Nigerians, that agency has been investigating quite a lot of cases. They have done quite a lot of beautiful work in the state. In fact, that was the same agency which even himself, Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, used to investigate the former Emir of Kano, Sunusi, Laimida Sunusi, the 14th Emir of Kano. So the same agency and the same head of the agency that was appointed by Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduje is the individual now Muhima Gaji who is still at the helms of affairs uh, in office. And uh, during the course of his investigation, he found some things that are wanting by the former government and uh, will be left with no option but, but to go ahead uh, in the processes of uh, investigation. So at the during the course of investigation, if His Excellency Abdullah Umar Ganduji is fine to be clean, I'm sure there will be no reason but to let him go scot-free and then he can move up with his high head up. That is it. There is no victimization and there is nothing being done against his interest. Yeah. And, and in the past few days, Ganduji has been having a running battle with regards to his position as APC national chairman of APC. And he has fingered your government. What do you say to this? Well, that is uh, unfortunate because let me tell you one thing. The day we got the information that the ward, uh, Congress officials of Ganduji ward have taken the bold step to suspend the chairman of the party, we were shocked. We were really, really, really shocked. We never even expected such a thing could still happen again because I know in the past, former national chairman like Adam Soshemole of APC, Uche Sekundus and Iochi Ayu of the PDP were all uh, had to go through the same processes of their award, uh, finding them wanting and then suspending them at the, at the end of the day, they had to leave office. So I was thinking we could have uh, gone... Uh, to be a national chairman of a political party will have had the knowledge that this time around the best thing to do is to as much as possible try to befriend those at the, at the award and make sure that you do everything humanly possible to make them happy but unfortunately it's not even about making the individuals happy uh, if during the course of your uh, being a governor of the state you have done things that are right and the people are so proud of you i don't think anybody within that political party will be able to do that but this is not something that we want to even talk about it because it is an internal processes of the apc which uh, the government of his excellency abba kabir yusuf is not even interested we are just watching we are just keen on lucas and we are watching it and uh it's unfortunate and there is nothing we could do in fact if there is anything that we could do to assist we will have been of assistance to the former governor of kanu state but it is an internal party affair and we are not members of his party mm, well understood well understood but if you are in the position to advise ganduji what would you tell him at this point in time well, if I'm in the process to advise him, the only thing that I can be able to tell him is that uh, uh, it is normal for any individual. Look, let me tell you one thing. Even the almighty God that created us, either you're a Muslim or you're a Christian uh, or even an atheist, there is a day of reckoning which we will go back to the almighty and we must account for all actions that we have done when we are living on the earth. So even when you are in office, whatever office, be it councillor, be it local government, chairman be it governor be it president definitely just know that the day that you leave office you will be held responsible for all actions that you have taken in office so the best thing to do is just to approach if it is a court approach the court let me even cite an example uh, governor tumble a uh, commission of inquiry was set up in sokota state and he was taken to the court the gentleman proceeded and went to the court to face whatever charges are laid against him. And he stands a hero. So I'm telling you the best thing that he should do is to stop evading any, he has even, this is the best opportunity that he has gotten so that he can be able to write his name in gold. I will advise him to face it. Nothing will happen. Nobody is against him, no victimization, and his human rights and dignity will be respected and it will not be trampled upon. 
Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Muhammad Yusuf. Thank you. We do hope that you will grant us more audience in the future when we call on you.